Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dhamit. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. If you have a, to perform a case statement on one of the column data, which transformation would you use and how will, how will you write the expressions? So let's uh, uh, go back to SSMS and take a look how the case statement look like. So I have this uh, table where I have region code and uh, that's AS for Asia, NA for North America, EU for Europe and AF for Africa. So I have this short region codes here. What I want to do, I want to convert them to the full region codes. So that's how my case statement would look like. So I have, <coughs> excuse me, so I have case, uh, I have to write case keyword, then I will say when region code, this region code is equal to AS, then it should be Asia and then uh, I'm going to the next part, uh, uh, writing the same things in when region code is equal to NA, this then it is North America. And uh, if, uh, uh, let's say if I want to write for Europe, I can write uh, the same condition, copy and paste. And I can write here EU and then say Europe. So that's how it will be keep checking the value or data points in the this column and uh, translating to the new value and if uh, the these condition doesn't match like uh, the data does not uh, exist in AS NA or EU then uh, we want to put this data in into unknown bucket so that will be translated to unknown and we are ending as a new column so we are calling this one as a full region code let's run this one and see what we get so uh, for AS we have Asia, we, uh, for NA we have North America and for EU we have Europe and for these ones as we said that okay if uh, uh, we are not checking condition uh, and beside three of these uh, if there is any value convert that to unknown. So that's how the case statement work in T-SQL or SQL Server. The same way what we have here we have a file that has a month full name month short name and test data i have month names here and what i want to do i want to read these the data from this file and then want to convert the month name to the month number so how i'm going to do in uh, ssis so let's uh, go to the ssdt now and uh, create a new package and we can call it case statement Let's rename this one pkg underscore case statement. Now bring the data flow task as we need to read the data from a flat file source. So now we have data flow task here. Uh, open the data flow task, go to the sources and bring the flat file source so we can read the data from the flat file. Let's make it a little bigger so we can see make a connection and you have to browse to the file so let's uh, browse to file file is on the uh, input folder on desktop so that's where I... okay so now we have the file column names in the first uh, data row that's true we have the column names in the first uh, data row and now hit on columns and they are translated uh, correctly and they're showing us the data what's uh, present in the file it, it, this is comma delimited file so i don't have to make all those changes the next par part is i can convert the data type for these columns but i don't care at, at this point so they are um, string uh, or worker in this case and i can preview the data hit ok all good the next part is uh, we need to write uh, a case statement where we can uh, convert this full month name into the uh, month number. So we can use a derived column and that's where we can write those all expressions or statements. So let's open the derived column. Now what we have here, we have three columns here, month full name, month short name and uh, test data. So let's uh, convert, take month full name and we are going to write the expressions. So we are saying month full name equal to equal to that's our kind of case statement here j n u a r y january and if that's a true we will put a question mark here and then put colons and we will say okay if month name or case when we say when month name is equal to january and then put the values we will say one and then again we have to 
Uh, let me see. One, two, three. Yeah, so you don't put a colon here. You will say, yeah, you put the question mark here. So you say month full name is equal to January. When that's true, so the value should be 1. And then you put these columns here and then start your when again. So you are going to say when month name. Let, let's make it a little bigger so we can write it. is equal to February and th that's true question mark what value we want to and then you put the colon again so you keep repeating this when and at the end you have else so let's say we will say uh, else is 12 you know and uh, now uh, what we can do uh, I don't want to spend uh, time here and uh, write the all expression or maybe we can just go ahead and let's do it uh, instead of uh, you know um, saying we can do it let's uh, make a copy of these and uh, let's go back to our SSMS and make uh, write these one real quick you know okay so we were January and February the same thing we have to repeat for March so let's repeat for March and here we will be saying three and here we will be saying March. Let me copy this one blank one. So next time when we copy, we don't have to delete. So here we have March and now same thing we will go for April. And then again, we will go for May. Then we go for June uh, 6, then we go for July 7, then we go for August 8. September October November And then finally we have December. So anyways, we do not, that's what I was saying. We do not have to check for the last one else. I mean, if those are not first 11 months, what it could be, that could be the last month. So um, that's, that's where we didn't check the value, but we just put the 12. So let's copy this whole thing and come to our expressions and put them here. So let's write this down so now we can see that we are checking when a month is equal to january it, it should return us one when month is equal to uh, february it should return us two and keep checking all the way and uh, till december and uh, yeah, th that's how it will return us a, a new column we can call it month number Okay, we can write the same uh, case statement for the month short name where we will say uh, month uh, short name is equal to Jan and then one month short name is equal to Feb and uh, Feb two and that's how we can write it. Okay, let's uh, make this one small. Yeah, it is already it it already took the data type of uh, integer, so that's fine. We don't have to make any change. Let's hit okay. Now to see the data if uh, the things are working correctly, we can put a multicast here and then add the data viewer between these two transformations so hit uh, data viewer enable it we want to read the names of the uh, columns uh, we want to read the full month name short month name and the test data and month number as well so we can see if our logic is working correctly okay so what we see here we have Jan and that's translated to uh, to one and then we have February 
and it is translated to 12. Why is that? I'm going to tell you. So for March, it is translated correctly. April, it is translated correctly. For all those months, it's translated correctly. But for February, it is uh, uh, translated to 12. Remember, if the month name, we, t we said that don't check the month name if it does not exist between all these 11s. So February, my spellings are somewhere wrong. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. So if I go back to my uh, package, what I have here, in the condition, I have probably the wrong spellings. F E B U R A R Y. So in in the data coming from the file, that's where F E B R U R A Y. So this is the spelling is probably uh, correct. So let's make this change. So now all the spellings are correct. As spellings were wrong for February, that's why it was putting in the 12 because it was not able to check this condition. So remember the same thing what we did here, check the condition. If it is true, put to the, the give the this value. And when this uh, this uh, region is equal to NA, give us this value. When region is EU, give us Europe. And whatever is not matching for these first three condition, give us unknown. So that's what we have in the a uh, expression we said that anything that matches uh, give us one two three until eleven and if not that's a twelve so our assumption was is if it is um, not matching that means this is, uh, is uh, december so we, we we can go one set, step ahead and uh, make this one a uh, more uh, uh, reasonable maybe we can go here let me see so that's kind of get complicated here that that's uh, you had to end and uh, now we can write uh, let's write this down as well so we will say month name i'm going to check for the 12 as well and then uh, one thing i would like to say uh, that could be possibility somebody put the wrong month name so we should take care of that as well we say December and then it should be 12 and else uh, if uh, there is a wrong uh, information just put the zero so that's how we would know that if uh, uh, somebody didn't provide the correct month name uh, uh, so that will be translated to zero and uh, that will be inserted the data will be inserted to the table and uh, we can always query the table and uh, take a look we can also redirect uh, depending upon uh, if a month name is not coming correct we can have multi uh, condition split here and only take the first 12 months uh, wherever the, uh, month, uh, months uh, exist between 1 and 12 excuse me and if uh, they, they are zero we can ignore them here so let's run this now and see if it is working now So now we can see that January it is 1, February 2, 3 and all the way it is correct and uh, as I was telling you one thing uh, if we have different uh, value it should uh, uh, put 0 in that I'm going to make uh, another data point here. So in this case uh, in, instead of having December uh, I'm going to remove E from here and save the value and see if uh, for this row it should give us uh, 0. Let's run this one quickly. So now what we see here, for all those columns which has the correct month name and we have put the condition in the drive column, we got the correct month names and as there is no uh, con um, condition or actually this month name doesn't follow in uh, these uh, months, uh, so th we, we, we are putting zero against. Uh, uh, any of them that doesn't match with the correct month names. So that's how you can put uh, or write uh, your case statements in the drive column. You will say when your column is equal to this and then value and then again you put the colon and say when month is equal to or column name is equal to uh, this value then you put the, uh, what you want and then at the end you have else. So that's how you can write your case statement in the drive column. Uh, the, 
one uh, one thing if you guys notice this one the expression get get really lengthy and sometimes it's hard to write them here in the expression window in drive column so you might want to write the way i wrote it here so you start with here and then keep writing by yourself in the ssms or notepad and the, the, that's where you have at least uh, more space to work on them thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video